Are you Mr. Jacobson? What's your name? I'm walking uh, up the I got street. a civil paper for you. You live right there? I'm walking up the You street, got an ID so. on you? For what? What is your name? Why? Because I have a civil paper to serve whoever lives at this residence you walked out of. He just pulled me over. As I got anything don't touch me. Don't Sir, touch. don't make it what I'm it is. I'm not doing nothing. Why are you touching me? Walk over here. Why are you? Because we're going to get out of the street. You might get in your car. I'm not, I haven't done nothing. Yep. You're obstructing right now. For what? Because I've asked you who you are. It's February 13th, 2023. Jacob Jackson is walking down a public sidewalk in Beckley, West Virginia. A uniformed sheriff's deputy pulls up in a marked police cruiser and activates his emergency lights. The reason? He has civil service papers to serve on somebody related to an eviction proceeding. But Jacob asserts his rights. Then the deputy asserts what he believes to be his rights as a police officer. Can a police officer forcibly detain you, ID you, search you? put his hands on you just because he has civil service paperwork to serve on somebody, even if you've done nothing illegal? Take a look at this footage, which you'll only see here, and then we'll discuss who's right and who is wrong. But first, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, the Ridge Wallet. Every guy I've shown this wallet wants one now. Thanks to the Ridge's 10th anniversary sale, you can now save up to a massive 40% off. Just go to ridge.com slash TCRL. Not only do these wallets look great, coming in a huge assortment of designs, but they are also crafted from materials like carbon fiber weave, titanium, and aerospace grade aluminum, making them extremely durable and rugged. They also block thieves from using RFID technology. I've been running this gold setup for several months now, and I think I like the Ridge key case even more than the wallet, but it's a great combination. Check this out. Easy peasy. No more jumbled mess when I have to go through the courthouse metal detectors. No more searching for the right key when I'm in and out of the office after dark. You can get both of these when you order one of these daily driver kits, which come in an assortment of designs. Gold was, of course, the most expensive. Since mine was free, I got gold, obviously. But if you're not a fan of gold, their website has over 30 colors and styles. There's over 50,000 five-star reviews. They give you a lifetime warranty, as well as a 99-day test drive with a full refund if you don't like it. And check this out, they're also making wedding rings now. It's really, really cool. Again, get the best offer with ridge.com slash TCRL, and right now you can save up to 40% off. Help support the channel by supporting our sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. Are you Mr. Jacobson? What's your name? I'm walking uh, up the street. I got street. a civil paper for you. You live right there? You live right here at 414? I just saw you walk out. You told me to walk out where? Down this house right here. When I hollered at you just a minute ago. I'm walking up the you street. You got an ID on you? For what? What is your name? Why? Because I have a civil paper to serve whoever lives at this residence you walked out of. And I'm asking you if you have it. I'm, I'm, I'm walking up no. the street, sir. All right. Why are you touching Here me? Here you go. Because I asked you a question. I'm trying to serve you some paperwork. I saw you walk out of there, and you're refusing to answer my questions. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? You're pulling me over as I'm walking down the street. No, you listen. You did not see me. You did not see. Yes, I did. I like to see it. I did. I just you walk, come down the street, you, you walked out of this house. And come walk, over through. You see me walk out the house? And shut the door. Let me see. Yep. Here you go, sir. You have a good day. You don't even know who you're... You can't give That's me fine. some paper? Who, I just who, did. Who are you trying to give some paper to? Who? What's your name? I didn't I didn't pronounce my name. And I'm asking you. Because I have legal reason to ask you. For what? Because I'm here on legal business. What's your name? My name's Sergeant Williams. What's oh. your name? Why are you stopping me? Because I saw you walk out of the residence and I have a paper to serve to a Jacob Jackson. I didn't say my name. I know, and I asked you five I times not, already. I don't have to give you my name. I think you do. I'm no, I don't. Of investigation. That's no, I don't. Doing. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yep. Yep, pretty sure you do. Control see me now. Pull me over. I'm walking. Can't just pull somebody over from walking. I didn't pull you over. Yeah, you walking. did. No, I didn't, sir. Yeah, you did. You just, you, you just pulled me over. I was like, you got don't touch me. Don't sir, touch. Don't make it what I'm it is. I'm not doing nothing. 
Why are you touching me? Walk over here. Why are you? Because we're gonna get out of the street. Don't get. you grabbing me. Calm down. He's grabbing me. I, I don't have nothing on me, sir. You don't have no right to be uh, touching me. I can me pack audience. you for weapons while you're acting. Way I'm acting. Haven't done nothing. I'm gonna ask you one more time for legal ID of who you are. For what purposes? I just explained it to you. You're not supposed to be grabbing me, though. I'm, we're going to get in my car and we'll get out of the middle of the street. I, I'm not getting in your car. I'm not, I haven't done nothing. Yep. You're obstructing right now. For what? Because I've asked you who you are. I'm here on legal business. I have a legal right to ask what? you these questions, and you're refusing to give me that. I'm not refusing nothing. Yeah, you are. Then what are get, you? What's your name? You want me to give you my name? Yes, sir. For what? What is your name? I'm Jacob. Jacob what? Jackson. Okay. So you you grab me there up. You go, sir. You grab me up. Simple well, enough. What, what's your what's you your what's your duty name? My name is Sergeant Williams. Okay. All right. You've been yeah. served. Yeah. Is that that hard? All you have to do is tell me. That. But like I said, All you're right. not supposed to grab people up and stuff like that. All right. You're not supposed to do that. You think yeah. so? I'm I'm good. With it. You have a good day, sir. Yeah. Control 115. 115. Control 3. 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 Control we got one dude that's on vacation and the other one's on jury duty and Sissy asked me to get him served, so I pull over here and uh hold on, let me stop this. I pull over here and as I'm driving up to the house, I see the guy coming out of the house. When police officers encounter pedestrians, they could trigger an investigatory detention, which requires reasonable suspicion. Or they could just be engaged in a consensual encounter, which requires nothing because it's just a conversation. Consensual encounters, i.e. a conversation, does not trigger the Fourth Amendment and can be easily identified if the subject just asks whether or not he's free to leave. If the question is not asked, the courts will look to the circumstances. Would a reasonable, regular person believe that he was not free to leave? Were emergency lights activated by the police? Were there multiple police officers? Were guns drawn? Was he put in handcuffs? Was he accused of criminal conduct? Was he told to show his hands? Was he told to get on the ground? Or was it just a conversation? The question is whether a reasonable person would feel free to terminate the encounter. If the person was involuntarily detained by the officer, that indeed constitutes a seizure under the Fourth Amendment, no matter how brief the detention or how limited its purpose. If a detention occurs, the courts require that the detaining officer be able to articulate why a particular behavior is suspicious or to logically demonstrate that a person's behavior is indicative of some sinister criminal activity. So it must be based on suspicion of illegal conduct. In other words, it cannot be based on suspicion of legal conduct, such as walking down a public sidewalk, or even being a defendant in a civil lawsuit, even an eviction proceeding. Anyone can serve lawsuit paperwork, a private investigator, a random guy off the street, anyone really. Just doing that does not entitle any individual to detain or arrest the target of the civil service because there's no criminal conduct involved or alleged. So this video demonstrates that Jacob Jackson was not suspected of having committed any crime. The officer had no right to involuntarily detain him. He had no right to do anything but just engage in a consensual encounter with Mr. Jackson. Due to the fact that Mr. Jackson asserted his rights, didn't want to talk to the officer, there's no doubt that the officer ended up detaining him and thereby triggered the Fourth Amendment. Given the fact that there was no allegation here or even suspicion of illegal conduct by Mr. Jackson, reasonable suspicion did not exist and therefore the Fourth Amendment was violated. Again, no matter how brief the detention was and no matter how badly the officer or some litigant he was working for wanted Mr. Jackson to be served with his paperwork. So let me know in the comments what you think. Should 
should the police be able to just detain somebody walking down the side of the road to force their name or their ID out of them just based on the fact that they have civil service paperwork to serve on someone? I may be able to help Mr. Jackson get some justice here. But step number one is spreading this video. So send it, share it, discuss it, and we'll see where this goes. Should Jacob file a lawsuit here? Let me know what you think. If you value your constitutional rights and you enjoy learning about them and exercising them, as well as holding the government accountable for violating them, please subscribe if you haven't already, both here and on my blog at thecivilrightslawyer.com. Remember, freedom is scary. Deal with it. I'll see you next time.